rents a spreader by the day. Do his dishes. One here. And while you got the spreader, you gotta use it. Try put some delice on him. Go give him an inch. No, not that way, Ernie. Well, you told me to put it on my head. Good morning. I'm Lynn, and welcome to a sunny day at Utopia Farms. Actually, a little bit warmer again. One thing about global warming, you can't predict the weather anymore. So today, hopefully Arnie's gonna get a lot more of his manure done. The sun's shining, so he's able to get on the fields. At the moment, he is in the ram pen. So here he comes with the spreader right now. Before I get to chores, I'm gonna be doing chores by myself this morning so he can get this done because uh, he rents the spreader by the day. So while he's got it, he wants to get as many loads as possible in. And he was working on the big platform at the back that handles the manure from most of the barn. But this morning he's scraping out and cleaning the ram platform. It's a little more awkward to get in here. He doesn't like working in here. It's a smaller space. But we got a pile in here and it needs to go. the rams in the field just here they get to watch the proceed proceedings and Arnie's taking away their manure pile so it's gonna be nice and tidy here hey eh, Arnie yeah. you doing, huh? I'm going to do chores by myself oh, you, oh. So I, I, I did chores an hour and a half ago and you're, an hour and a half later you're going to do yours. That's right Arnie because I was doing your dishes and I was trying to figure out the conversion on the dollars for shipping goods to the United States. You know all the stuff you don't do? Well, I think Making the bed. You I, sleep there but you don't make yeah, it. Why make the bed? You're just going to crawl back in. And what, I, I always had the theory about the dishes. There's no point doing dishes until there's no more clean ones. I know, and this is true because when he was single and I met him, he'd come in the house and his entire counter would be stacked high with dishes. That's right. And, then, and then, then he, the neighbors felt sorry for them, so did his dishes. He still didn't do Who's his the dishes. Smart one here? Who's the it's one? called abuse. So the rams are looking extremely handsome today. Hi buddies. I know, I always say our rams are handsome and maybe, maybe people don't watch us because I'm always talking about our sheep. But it is all about our sheep. When I set up this channel, it wasn't to be about us. It was to be about our sheep. And, and then sheep in general, but using our sheep as the example. Ferdinand, you look fantastic. You do. These are all the boys who didn't get used this year. So, and these guys are basically all for sale, except for a few that we're gonna keep, like Ferdinand for sure is staying here. And Gimli, where's Gimli? There you are, Gimmy. Hi, we're just talking about you. Yes, we were. This is Calvin who knocked me over the other day. His problem is he's too friendly. I don't know why he did that. It is the time of year where 
rams are acting stupid. If the weather is like today is warmer, they're acting a lot calmer, quieter. But as soon as it gets like those cool, fresh temperatures, they the boys they act totally stupid. It's not a time to be in with the boys when they're um, doing their little rambunctious behavior. So we know where the word rambunctious came from because when you see how they act, it's definitely rambunctious. Come here, Max. Come on. Come on, Max. On this side. Don't want you getting run over. Unbelievably beautiful today. going to be having a tour. Uh, I think it's 56 people coming from Quebec. We're going to be coming on a tour bus on November 27th. So I should have a video up of that on November 29th. And uh, that's part of the reason he's cleaning up all this stuff off the Rams platform too. Because we want to put our best foot forward and look good. Nobody likes to see a pile of manure. It was definitely time though. You can see there's a big pile here. And while you got the spreader, you got to use it. Boys are getting a little bored of it now, so they're going to go head out. The gate's open there, but no, no one's made that first step through yet. Another reason, I think I told you the other day, that we don't spread this manure on our sheep pastures or the hay fields. One reason is the putting of the worms right back into the fields. But the main reason that I forgot to mention is that when you're spreading solid manure in the pastures or the hay fields it it comes out in clumps I mean the beaters break it up as fine as possible but it does come out in solid clumps and what tends to happen is those clumps continue to break down in the field over the winter and stuff for several months but while it's doing that, it's actually smothering the grass underneath. It can kill the grass underneath and it can cause weeds to grow where it was. So I gotta get kitten food. Well, I found this morning. You don't have to bring it out. I'll have to bring it out tonight. Okay, I'll go get more. Were they there this morning? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's another load ready. And there it goes. Off to the bean fields.
Ben, Max. The, na the neighbors just love you when you're spreading manure. So these are the size of the clumps that basically go onto the fields. And you can see it's steaming. It's good if it's on top of grass, like I say, that, that will tend to smother it, burn it off, and weeds grow in its place. It's really not the greatest idea to be spreading this on hay fields, in our opinion. Liquid manure would be better. Looks like we got a package. And the mail? Oh, Mary Wilson again. Mary! Mary! <laughs> Mary needs to come for a visit and a coffee, for sure, because she's way too kind to us. Well, all the chores got done today, and Arnie worked on the manure spreading all day and got a big chunk done. And right now we're going to head into the barn and grab Knockout and treat him for lice. He's been itching for quite a while now, and we had just a little bit of time before dinner, so we thought we'd uh, catch him and give him a little lice treatment and show you how we do that. So I guess he's going to try put some de-lice on him. We're not sure if he's got lice, but he's itchy. But he came here itchy from the classic, so maybe he's just got all kinds of sand and dust under his wall. Or he's got prairie lice, as opposed to Ontario area lice. Hi, sweetheart.
So just leave it for now. The question is, do we leave them like that or do we take it all off? Oh, it's not open. So the whole point of this was so that we could put some de-lice on him to get rid of his lice. So that's what he's pouring over his back there. Get rid of the lice. Wanna hold a little tight on you, buddy? He's holding them up. I know, but I still think that our rams have bigger than normal. Yeah. I think he's looking a lot smaller. He's just lost about 20 pounds. That's right. What yeah. do you think? He's not a big rat. No, it's just a ram, just a type of ram, just the right size. That's good right size. Yeah. What do you think about that? Do you want, you're okay with him looking like that? No. Uh, he's going to stay in here for a few more weeks, isn't he? I think take her off. Two more weeks, he'll be in here. I'd leave his belly, but maybe you should take the sides off. Okay. Well, there's no way to make him look skinny, right? We are having a hard time deciding whether or not to take that wool off because we're concerned that he might get cold, but he is in the barn for the next few weeks and he looks kind of silly half done. So we are going to take the whole thing off. I was just going to do a shift right here just to put the delicer on. That's right, but your strip got a little wide, didn't it? I carried it away. Now it looks silly. Free of his belly and stuff, but uh, we'll take off his sides. And if you want dinner, you better make it fresh. Should I go to the front again? Yeah, just just lean in, lean into his head a little bit. Lift your head. Hi, Emily. Hi. He's not gonna like this. you can really see the rams that you bought. You take their wool off. And you can see that he's got a British influence too. He's a thick ram. We bought him because he was thick. Got good legs on him for sure. He's a good size. He's not a giant ram at all. The smaller size ram. More like our felon and uh, Hannibal type. We're wanting our rams to be more this size. So uh, they're, they're just so much easier keepers. Once you have their ideal weight, it's very, very, very easy to maintain them. 
The taller guys definitely need more feed. And you can see he, him moving his leg like that. Even when I was holding his muzzle to keep him steady, he was kind of chattering his teeth together. And they chatter like that when they're itchy. And he was always itchy. And he's kind of doing the thing like when you rub a dog's belly, they kind of scratch too. So he's probably gonna feel a lot better with the wool off. And we de -liced him just in case he had some lice. It could be that he just had a lot of debris on from the show and the sweating and all that. It was making him itchy because he wasn't losing his wool or anything. But usually a, an itchy sheep means they've got lice. But I don't see any signs of biting or any anything now that looks like lice at all. It was more his behavior than his appearance. But these are going to think they got a new... Uh, new lover right now and if he had any open use in the group this will uh, actually make him more motivated to breed and he's indoors so he'll be fine Watch his willy. debating and leaving part of the wool on but he looks so silly and you know how rams fight when new ones come in if they look radically different they want to do fighting too they like they'll pick on the odd man out so i didn't think it was a good idea that little piece under his belly there it's on this side And a little bit right, right there. Yeah, yeah. Is it attached? Okay, that's good. Just pull it off. That's good enough. Ben! There he is, looking pretty good. You look pretty handsome knockout. You look like a knockout. <laughs> He's got really nice legs. Hi, hi, son. Oh, pull that little piece of wool under his chest there, too, out. Right Here, I'll pull it. Right up on his tippy toes. Oh, you're very pretty. Show them to the girls. This could get everyone cycling again. Ben and Max, get out of the way now.
Yeah, all the girls are coming to see who the new man is. This is why we love the attention. I'm fine with that feet. Graham loves attention. Well, I think See, I they cut his tail off so short, but like with ours, you'd notice that his tail is sticking straight up in the air right now because he's uh, really happy about all the attention he's getting. I think he's itchy. I think he's he was itchy. itchy. He's, when I was clicking him, he was actually doing that stretching thing. I know. But he loves attention. See how his tail's right in the air? <laughs> well, at least now you'll be able to pick him out. You could always pick him out. See, he's wiggling his right. He's itchy. Look at him. He's itchy. Hopefully that... Well, hope he's got the delice on him now, so... <laughs> Lots of flesh on him. He, I, I'm going to say he's probably an easy keeper. For sure. British... See, now he really wants an itch, and he's doing that because he can't reach his back to itch it. That's right, rub against that. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Oh, Arnie. Oh, there you go. Look at him. He's trying to scratch. Now, if he had lice... <laughs> <gasps> Arnie, go scratch him. I think. Go give him an itch, Arnie. I think he, th he thinks he's in a disco. Go give him an itch. Poor guy, he can't reach. That's the problem when you have a short neck. Buddy, what happened? There you go. There. Oh, that's right. That's right. Can you Yeah, you could. But usually you see bare patches of skin. I don't see any symptomatic lice on them. So what do you call this thing? Well, I think... Uh, that's why you shear sheep, because they do get lice. But they also get all kinds of chaff stuck in their wool. He wants you to do it again. Can you see lice? You can, but it would be on a bare spot of skin. Usually they start losing their wool. Well, no one does this to me. Why should I do it to him? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Oh dear. Don't want you to get spoiled. But he, can, there all night, he can't reach it, Arnie. He's trying to give you a hint. I wonder if he has lice. I wouldn't get it right. Well, if you just wash your hands when you get in, but. But he has little black dots there. Is that lice? Are they moving? Well, if he stopped moving, I can tell. Well, if you pet him, he would stop moving his head. There, see? Now he stopped. I'm guessing it would be sand and stuff from the classic. I think it's that prairie lice. Okay, why don't we just get down the barn for a few minutes and fine. <laughs> what do you say, buddy? Okay. What do you say? You happy? You like me now, don't you? Hey? Okay. His ears are right down. Oh, I thought I'd build up a little here. Okay, just move a little bit. You're me now. Move a little bit. Move down the barn. I don't want to rub that. I got the delicer on it. Well, that might spread it around for him. Well, I'd be, I'd be quite curious. Well, uh, the only thing I'd worry is that there's no dips in this bedding pack because if he rolls over, he could cast himself. Uh, the only thing that would be funny is, in a week from now, if he's still doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that that should get kill him all overnight. He definitely looks happy. <laughs> See, they think he looks weird even with his wool off. Oh, oh buddy. Sorry. I did you a favor. 
Now you're going to be cold tonight. No, he'll be fine in here. No, he'll be fine. But if I don't get this cleaned out in the next couple of days, I'm probably going to need another barrel strong here. Yeah, we got... I wanted to get the... sent us a whole bunch of lambing towels yay J right in the nick of time because we're be gonna be starting soon she also left a message for arnie that although she couldn't find a tractor for him she got a lottery ticket so there's a one in a billion chance that she could get him a tractor but in the meantime one of these things this is her husband <laughs> wrote this part, said that he, he might feel good if he at least had really? <laughs> a, ca a cape to wear to make him feel important. <laughs> put it on your head for a second. Just what? put it on your head. No, I mean, yes, to be funny. <laughs> you just turn it around and you put it on your head. It's for kids. But you're basically a kid. No, not that way, Arnie. Well, you totally put it on my head. Uh, yeah, turn around. It doesn't fit, hon. Do you want me to wear it drama the today? Yeah, you should. You should wear it. <laughs> Run. Does it make you faster? Well, it could. It could deflect the wind, make it go a little faster. Okay, I know everybody needs to see me wearing that. So on that note, I'm going to wear Arnie's superhero cape, say goodbye, thank you so much for watching, and thank you Mary and Jerry for the wonderful towels, the lambs will appreciate you more than you know, and if you guys enjoyed our your time here, please subscribe, you know the whole spiel. Anyway, thank you very much for joining. And I am doing daily again. So drop on in again tomorrow. Bye for now.